Hello everyone. Now I did mention uh, in uh, one of my videos recently that uh, I have uh, I have moved quite a lot of my files, old files, files that I was using maybe regularly or not regularly, or maybe I just need to access once in a while or maybe annually uh, to nothing but org mode. Now there are a lot of things that I still have in uh, Excel. Now Excel is of course uh, you know powerful. And there are a lot of things that you can do in Excel or spreadsheet or Google Slides. And of course, you have a library office that works fine. But I think not only for me, but majority of us, I believe we have data in some kind of tabular format. It is, of course, not entirely possible to simply transfer it or uh, or basically in, in a way migrate it to nothing but org mode or org mode tables, but still you need some capabilities of, uh, you know, tabular data or data that is basically presented in uh, some kind of, let us say, you know, co columns, separated columns, maybe CSV, for example, CSV is a very good, wonderful example. Now, I think, uh, and I'm of course, you know, experimenting with this approach these days. So I have a lot of uh, simple spreadsheets that are honestly, uh, a bit difficult to simply migrate them to a table in org mode because I need some capability where I can you know sort it or do some things on the on the table and or not only the table but the data itself. Now CSV is of course a very simple file which is of course something that you can open in any software or any file of course because it's a text file right any when I mean, it's any file I'm talking about any any editor right so it's it's a text file you can version control it now if I look at uh, this CSV we have and by the way i'm also new new to it so i'm just trying to share whatever i have discovered so i was looking for a way and fortunately there is a way uh there is a mode called csv mode so you might already have this mode i'm not really sure but i guess when you install emacs you should have it i guess so but take a look or just install it from melpa i guess if it is in melpa i'm not really sure but find it find it wherever you can so this is of course a simple data like csv comma separated file now this is right now the mode which is csv mode so you can always do like for example org mode which is the default mode but uh, if you want to switch it to csv mode you can right now if i look at this it looks of course nothing like a normal it, it is of course nothing nothing changed right so the mode is different but nothing changed but you can do some wonderful things with this so good thing about uh, you know emacs using gui G G G G G version GUI version is that you will have access to these things. So, or, or you can read documentation to be honest. So for example, uh, the bare minimum thing that you may want to do is you want to sort this uh, lexicographically, like alph alphanumerically. Uh, so you can do control C, control, control S. So let us do that. Control C, control S. It will select the region, right? Press Y. And then you can select the column or the field. For example, I may want to sort it by name right so i can select here uh, one right so we have uh, of course it is also including the header so i need to figure out how to exclude the header i'm sure there is a way so this is of course you know working fine i'll probably just remove the header to keep things absolutely simple okay so let us do it again and i want to sort it by name no let us do it again because i think i didn't really select the whole region so let me also add something like uh, maybe Zena, right? Age 26, 25, right? And maybe the location is USA. Now if we do Control C, Control S, it will select everything, yes. And uh, maybe, maybe we want to sort it by the first field. All right, so I think this looks okay. So yeah, this looks okay. Now let us say if you want to, if you want to do the same sort by instead of doing doing control c control s you can do control c control n right so let us let us do that control c control n and because we have a third field uh, which is of course the age so let me select uh, three here and uh, oh nothing happened control c control s yes and then three okay now it worked so 19, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I'm still trying to learn it. And I think uh, 
this might work for my needs i'll of course you know keep you guys up to date with this mode and uh, there are a few things few other things that i might also want to do for example i think uh, uh, so it says use descending sort order reverse order of lines i'm not really sure how it works transpose rows and columns this is interesting let's let us try this control c control t because in excel we do this right quite a lot uh transpose uh, yeah i mean whenever I, I mean to be honest i still work on excel unfortunately because i have to it is part of my job and uh, i hate it i mean i don't really hate it but uh, yeah i mean i have to it is not uh, i mean excel is a good tool right and if i have to use it i'll use it of course it is not open source but uh, uh, my approach has always been use whatever you need to use to get things done so of course it is open source uh now of course you you might say okay why not use libre office but that that is not how things work in the world uh if let us say you're working for a company and they are using excel they are only using microsoft based tools then you have no choice i mean and you they won't let you install libre office right so uh, i use excel quite a lot so uh, so we were actually doing transpose control c control t and region okay yes i don't really think it should ask for anything let us press y oh it did something and it looks maybe okay yeah i think it looks i, I understand i understand i think uh, it has basically so all the first columns oh uh, no yeah all the first column is now the first row second column is the second row third column is the third row yeah interesting i think this is powerful let me also how do i reverse it can can i do control c control t perfect it works although i thought there was no there was no um there was no space in between right because if i do this control x control minus it it seems like the names are uh, i don't know um because the names are actually in, <laughs> so there there is no sp or maybe there was no space to begin with and uh, maybe it looks like this i don't know so let us to control c control t to to go back so i think i think i like it so far i'll of course keep on exploring it but i just wanted to mention it to you csv mode try it maybe it will work not really it is not really a powerful i mean there are other modes like spreadsheet mode which i am still trying to figure out to be honest i don't really want to i mean i mean of course i use org mode i use emacs but i don't really try to do things that are too complicated uh because end of the day if i have to do something in in a spreadsheet i'll do it in, in libre office or excel to be honest i don't really try to you know because org mode emacs it's it's not really meant for doing those things uh but for personal data where you, you just want to maybe keep list keep things in some kind of spreadsheet format csv format and uh, that might need to be shared with someone so if you have csv you can always you know send it to someone and the person should be able to open it uh, in your uh, normal uh excel or libre office let most likely excel because that is what people use quite a lot and uh, and i thought i'll probably just share it with you so i'm happy with this I, i'm happy with this mode i will definitely uh uh recommend this so far based on my limited experience all right that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye